Hi, good morning. I just want to recreate a few points again, which are important that we will be doing this exercise every semester at the beginning. See, officially you are going to register yourself and whatever may be the courses you are going to continue in this semester, you will be registered in those courses in different sections. Okay? As I already told you, when a course is a 303 course like Mathematics 1 or MOW, Mechanics, Oscillations and Games, you will have lectorial sections. Lectorial sections will be say 1, 2, 3 or 1, to 6 etc. And if it is a practical based course like BioLab, then there will be practical sections with P1, P2, P3 etc. So when you are doing the course, you will be registering in some section. Right? But this time what happens, sir, all these things are pre-assigned for you. That means in a course, whether you are doing a lectorial or lectorial plus practical etc., they are already fixed in the ER. So what I am going to do, when you in fact log in using that link, you will be directed to the ERP site. And in the ERP side, stepwise we are going to show for one particular student. Then it will be removed and that student can again redo the entire thing. Okay, so that's what I am going to show. Now listen carefully and then try to follow it down. One more thing I want to tell, these PR numbers are priority numbers which are generated randomly by the computer for all of you. Every semester you will be shared with these priority numbers. And the registration will be based on your priority number. So if you have say seven semesters of coursework and one semester of thesis or PS, these seven semesters your PR numbers play an important role in choosing the sections and you know electives. At least for two or three times you will get some good priority numbers because the chance should be given to everyone. And this priority number thing. When you delay it or because of some other reason, if you don't turn up during that particular time slot, you will be losing that option of choosing those electives. So keep that in mind, you have to stick to the time. Another important thing is the registration is online. So you can do it through your laptop or uh, any system anywhere in the world. Okay. But as of now, all of you are here. So I have given 333, which is actually the website talk formed in the third book. There are two labs, computer labs. One is 333. 1 to 50 can go to triple three, And 51 to 100 you can go to 335. Okay. And within 10 or 15 minutes it will be over. Then after validating your registration, please note down the sections. Course name and section. Then only you can find out which room that particular lactose is happening. So, you note down the sections, then take the timetable, find the room number and on one day you can directly go to the classes or labs. This is very important. Okay, So, you have to note down finally and then you leave the computer lab. Is it okay? Now, through your email ID, I think academic calendar, because I told you now, the academic calendar is slightly different for you because we have started the entire thing from today, so your classwork will be on 19th, so all the examination will be delayed for you. So the academic calendar also shared with you with a new timetable and the registration venue that is 333335 with the PR numbers and registration advisors. In each room there will be a set of faculty. Similarly, some seniors, I have actually requested them to be there with you to help you and assist you. So when you go there, don't get tensed. If at all any issue comes, we are there to help you out. Okay? Ashita, are you ready? Can we get into this? So this is the mail which we have sent yesterday. Right? Now there is a link given here which is a link to ERP. So just click that link. It will be directed to the student system in ERP. Now, student system, visit the size it is given. So, here you click it. Don't 
Good. Now, can you see this page? I think last row, I don't know whether you are able to see this. Is it okay?
So during addition substitution either you can add an elective or a course, generally it is an elective or you can swap two electives. So that is the only chance where you can change your elective. And third option would be withdrawing from a course. Suppose you actually have registered for one course which you don't want to do, you can withdraw. But W will be printed in the transfer. When you withdraw from a course, automatically W will be printed. And I'll tell you one more thing. Any of your academic activities, whatever it may be, that will be recorded here and that will ref that will be reflected in the transcript. That is why many of the universities they are asking for transcript. Why? Whatever may be your performance in a particular course, whether you have withdrawn or you have got an MC, RC, later you have cleared with A grade, all those will be recorded. Nothing will go out from here. Keep that in mind. So do this exercise every semester very carefully. Whenever you have a doubt, please discuss with us, clarify your doubt and then proceed. Okay. Now you can validate. it. Now you have finished registration, how actually you can see the final line. So after the finish the registration, you can go if you want to check then what's your exact timetable and everything. You can go to the student center. So here you are all courses which you validated and registered and you can show me right with room number uh, sorry the yeah, lecture number and everything. And when you can scroll down at the bottom, here is the option is weekly scheduled. So here it's uh it has got the timetable, it's going to give us like that. This is number of time you can check. Okay. But here please note the main one important thing. ERP actually doesn't go with exact timings here. So, for example, the first lecture starts at 7.30, right? 7.30 to 8.20, 15 minutes duration and 5 minutes break. So, that and all you <coughs> will not be able to see here. You can see the first lecture says it is 7.30. This part you neglect, the first part time you neglect. These are the periods, first period, second period, third period. So you can have a note of this, then compare in the time table to note the room numbers and numbers. Okay, any doubt? Room numbers are there. Where? Room numbers are there? In the year? No, no, time table is there, huh? Say, for example. No, no, here room numbers will not be there, that's what I am saying. You have to compare this with the time table to find the room numbers. That's what I am telling you, the last page is important. Yeah. See, this is the timetable. Right? One minute, all of you, please listen. Now, suppose you are in thermodynamics section 1. The room number is 189. And the timetable is given there M4T1W2F5. So, you have to note down those periods, room number, and you can just proceed. To know that you are in L1 or L2 or T1, T2, etc., the ERP student center will help you out. Whenever you have a doubt, don't worry. Just get into the DRP, go to a student center and find out the same. Only thing is the row number you have to note down from the timetable only. Please understand. And don't go and follow the CRP timing because that says 8, 9, etc. No. The class timings are given already to you, so follow only the class time. The first class starts at 7.30, then 7.30 to 8.20 is first period. Then 8.25 to 9.15 will be second period and between each period there will be 5 minutes period. So just follow it. The last period will be from 2.40 to 3.40. And 3.40 it is over. Okay. Uh, the rest of the column will be cut because they should not follow the 8 km etc. Because in Indian system they go with 8 to 8.50, then 10 minutes break, then 9 to 9.50 like it goes. So because it is for all the campuses, remember ERP is a centralized one. This is for all campuses and our Dubai timings are different. So that is why this particular issue. So don't bother about that. Go with the timings without the timetable. Okay, any doubt? Thank you then. You do one thing. 1 to 100, you move to 333, 335. 1 to 50 to triple 3 and 51 to 100 equal to 335. Hello everyone.
I'm Keerti. I'm the president of Okrop. Uh, this is Dhruv. He's the vice president. Okrop is the graphic design club of Bits. So we have a fun quiz planned for today. It's easy. It's not completely design related. And of course, whoever gets the answers right will get a gift. The, yeah, the, the gift is the chocolate, that's it. So the instructions are simple. If you know the answer, raise your hand and we'll come to you. Or probably throw the chocolates. So yeah, first question, what is this tool called? Pink shirt on the left side corner. Lasso tool. Yeah, that's true. So this is actually a Photoshop tool. It's a very common tool to select. It's called the lasso tool. What color theory is applied to this image? Red shirt. Uh, monochromatic. Yes. Also, if you're answering, introduce yourself, say your name, and then say the answer. And also clap. CMYK color systems are used specifically for design for this design work. Oh. For print? Yeah. Yes. Answer is print. Can you please say your name? Hi, I'm Srini Ketan and I'm studying in CS. Nice. Thanks. A graphic image with a central figure is an example of this type of composition. My name is Suhail Jamil. I'm studying CS, and the answer is asymmetrical. No, it's the wrong answer. Uh, framing. Nope, that's wrong too. One last try. Balanced. Balanced. But it's actually, it's the, that was her answer. <laughs> what is this tool called? Spot healing brush tool. Yes. Okay, this is a very easy question. What are these called? Uh, I'm Ali, and uh, this is called layers. Yeah. Okay, can someone tell me this answer? They'll get the entire packet of chocolates. How is this pronounced? Jif. Anyone else? Is it? Uh, it's pronounced gif. It's pronounced gif. By the makers, the guy who made this, he pronounces it gif, but actually grammatically it's pronounced jif. Okay, uh, you can contact us if you want to join the club. Thank you, Dhruv. And our faculty in charge is Dr. Pranav. You can always reach out to him as well in case you have any design related uh, queries and questions. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Prem. I'm the creative head of uh, Reflections. So uh, we've organized a small contest for you all just to introduce you guys to how, the, how to use a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Uh, so basically, the contest is like, we'll call upon five of you one by one. And uh, by chit picking, we'll give you a constraint, which basically you're, you're choosing essentially. And uh, abiding by that rule, you have to click a photo and uh, you have to send it to our uh, email, which will be displayed upon, upon the screen. You, each of you will be getting three attempts, but I'm just uh, mentioning it to you all. There is one chit which restricts you to only one attempt. So I, uh, choose who the unlucky person is. Volunteer. Uh, hello guys, I'm Hussain. I'm the Vice President of Reflections Club. So I need five volunteers to participate in this thing. Who all are interested? Okay, can you come? Uh, the one at the last? Who's there? You come. Uh, one by one? Okay, so we'll do this one by one. First, he's coming. Hi, what's your name? I'm Ekansh. All right, so you have to pick a check first. What's it? Okay. okay, so he's get do not use viewfinder or LCD scheme. So basically you have to choose a prop and then you, do, you don't have to use a viewfinder or LCD screen to click the photo. So you can choose the settings first and after that, you cannot look into the camera. You just have to click the photo. Yes, sure, I'll help you. Okay, so wh which prop do you want to choose? 
I'll choose this. Batman? The Batman. Yeah. All right. Great choice. Okay, so you only have one minute and you can take maximum three tries. All right? So whenever you're ready, I'll start the timer. It's on, it's on. Yes, it's on. Okay, so your one minute starts now. Just, just press the, the shutter button. You didn't click the photo. See. You see? Like that. You have two more tries. All right, thank you. Uh, who, who else? Okay, you can come, the one in the green shirt. Hi, can you introduce yourself? I'm Sahil from Computer Science. Can you choose one chair? Okay, so he only gets one attempt to click a photo. So which prop do you want to choose? Same thing? Yeah, both are Batmans. That one? All right. You can use the viewfinder, you can use the LCD screen, you just have one attempt. Okay, that's it. Focus is on auto mode. That's you. I'm sorry, but your one attempt has been done. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Uh, okay, that guy in white jacket. Come. Introduce yourself, please. My name is Rushirat Solanke. I'm from CSE. Choose one chair. So he has to shoot it in manual focus only. He doesn't get automatic focus. So this is the focus ring. Yeah. Okay. You know it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Which prop do you want to choose? Same thing? All right. Yes, you get three attempts. Thank you. We only have two more left, so um, this guy, come. Huh? Yeah, sure. Um. Okay. Introduce yourself, please. 
I'm Satvik CS. Uh, choose one. Okay, so he's got fixed focal length. He cannot change the focal length. Uh, I'll set it and give it to you. Yes, you can use the viewfinder. That's it. And you get three attempts. Which prop do you want to choose? Same. Thank you. Okay, so the, for the last one, I'll call her. Introduce yourself, please. Hana. Okay, so she has got fixed position. She cannot move after choosing a spot. So first you choose one prop. Basketball, okay. And choose a position anywhere around the stage, but then you cannot change that position. This? All right. Do you want me to remove other props? And you also get three attempts. Thank you so much. Can we have a round of applause for all five of them? Because I'll tell you this was not an easy task to do. Okay, so till the time we'll uh, decide who is the winner. I have a video to play for you.
Okay, so we have a video which shows the best picks of the two biggest events, BSF and Jashan. Please have a look at it. Thank you guys and if you guys are interested in photography and videography, please, please scan the QR code and register. Thank you. Uh, so for the lights camera action photography contest that we held yesterday and day before that, uh, we have the winners so I would like to announce them. So these are the winners for the photography contest. I would like to call Ekant Saxena, Shaukat Siddiqui and Sana Firdos to the stage. Is Sana here? Okay. Uh, I, I would like to call uh, Anuradha ma'am to give them the gifts. Please give them a huge round of applause. So we've decided the results of the contest that we just held with the constraints and stuff. So uh, the first winner goes, first winner is Hana uh, for choosing a contrasting subject and uh, really properly framed. Hana, please come to the stage and uh, collect your gift. Huge round of applause for her. Thank you, Anna. Uh, we have one more uh, winner for the, sa uh, for the same. He composed the image really well, uh, produced a great bouquet effect. Uh, Rushiat, can you please have you on the stage? Huge round of applause for him as well. Thank you so much. So now I invite the music club Groove to come and, yeah, music, yeah, try, treble, okay. So I invite the music club now to come on stage and entertain us uh, with some instrumental and vocal music. Thank you.
हेलो गाइस आई एम भरतवाज फ्रॉम थर्ड ईयर एंड विद गिटार इट इज अर्जदीप सिंह सो वे जस्ट प्लानिंग टू जस्ट रेंडर अ बेसिक मैशअप सो आई गे आई होप यू गाइस लाइक इट इतना बता दे कोई कैसे तुझसे दिल ना लगाए कोई रब्बा ने तुझको बनाने में कर दी है हुस्न की काली तिजोरिया काजल की सियाई से लिखी है तूने जान कितनों की लव स्टोरिया केसरिया तेरा इश्क है पिया रंग जाऊ जो मैं हाथ लगाऊ दिन बीते सारा तेरे शुक्र में रन सारी तेरी खैर मना फिल्म में तेरी हम ना रहे जो गम तो नहीं है गम तो नहीं है किससे हमारी नजदीकियों से गम तो नहीं है गम तो नहीं है कितनी दफा सुबह को मेरी तेरे आंगन में बैठे मैंने शाम किया चन्ना मेरे आ मेरे आ चन्ना मेरे आ मेरे आ चन्ना मेरे आ मेरे आ बेलिया हो पिया चन्ना मेरे आ मेरे आ चन्ना मेरे आ मेरे आ चन्ना मेरे आ मेरे आ बेलिया हो पिया इश्क है पिया रंग जाऊ जो मैं हाथ लगाऊ दिन बीते सारा तेरी फिक्र में रन सारी तेरी कैर मना हाँ हाँ केसरिया तेरा इश्क है पिया Hey guys, uh, my name is Parvati. I am third year general sec of uh, Trebles. This is uh, yeah, and I'm Kiera, and uh, I'm the treasurer of Treble. And uh, I'm Juan, and I'm just a regular member of Treble. We have uh, Ishan playing the guitar and Karthik with uh, the keyboard. Uh, we're doing a small performance. I hope you guys enjoy it. I found love for me, darling. Just dive right in, follow my lead. Well, I found a girl, beautiful and sweet. I never knew you were the someone waiting for me. Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I own And in your eyes Listening to our favorite song when you said you 
Hi guys, my name is Jonathan John. Let's go! I'll be performing a small mashup for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Moonbeam. 
Can we have a round of applause for the guitarist Ashdeep as well? That was a wonderful performance, and I know many of you want uh, to sit here and keep listening, but we have to move on. We have a lot of other things happening today. But uh, thank you so much, Treble. And a bit of news for you. I don't know if you all heard it. Uh, we have uh, been invited by Radio Mirchi to take part in the University Edition Jam that is going to be auditioned in October. You can go either as a solo singer, solo player, or you can go as a band. Okay? November and December will be the finals at their station, and the first prize is going to be tickets to Turkey. So if your band has 10 members, all 10 of you are going to Turkey. Okay? So get ready for that. And all the freshmen here, if you want to join the music band, you know what to do. You know who to go and look out for. Thank you so much. Now, the most important thing. Remember what I said? Go mad. Go make a difference. So I'm very, very pleased to invite the Social and Environmental Club to come and make their presentation. Hey, guys. Welcome, everyone. So we have a very fun quiz for all of you. So, it's a really simple quiz and like it's not a very tough one. So, you just have to go on our Instagram page and you can scan this QR code and all the answers to the questions are from this. Most of the. So, if you can't scan the QR code, the, uh, the Instagram handle is sec.mad. Hi guys. So, the first question is, when was the first post published by on Instagram by our page that is at the rate sec.mad? Whoever answers the question first will get the free Danyanite pass that is coming up in two weeks. Huh, no seniors, only freshers. Get the mic. Get the mic. First. October 3, 2018. October 3. Let's see the answer. Yes, you are the, this, that's the right answer. Can you note the email ID and the name, please? Okay, guys, the next question. Okay, guys, the next question. What was the theme of Spectrum 2022? Hi, I'm Rashita Biotech. Uh, the theme was Mighty Jungle. Yes, that's the right answer. The next question is, the first to answer the five events conducted by a club every year. Cancer Awareness Day, Women's Day, World Wildlife Day, Spectrum, and um, Earth Hour. Earth Hour. That's the right answer. Okay, a uh, general question for everyone. Which was the worst ever nuclear tragedy in history? The one at the back? Yellow, yellow, the one yellow, just a mask, a yellow. The one in the back. The one, grey one in the back. The one, the grey one in the back. With the curly hair. Chernobyl. Chernobyl, Ukraine. Uh, that's correct. Okay. 
So the final question, guess the event. The one with the green. The green one. Over green here. one. Garba night. Garba. Garba night. Can you like frame it better? Like, what's it called here? Uh, ethnic day. No. No. Some other. Some Dandia. Other. The, the girl there, the white and. Oh, okay, that one. Then. Dandia night. Yes, that's the right answer. Also, you guys uh, can follow our Instagram page and we'll be dropping a few more Dandia Night passes, so stay tuned. All the winners will be getting free Dandia Night passes and stay tuned on our Instagram page and we'll be dropping a few more again.